Hello everyone, my name is Surayun at Beckman Research Institute of the City of Hope. I'm going to discuss about the therapeutic potential of SARNA in human cancers today. Cancer, in other words, malignancy is abnormal growth of cells on tissues. There are more than 100 types of cancers including brain, liver, pancreas, colon, bladder, prostate, stomach, lung, breast, renal, and cervical cancers. Symptoms are very different depending on the type of cancers. Cancer treatment includes chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, or oligotherapeutics. On this issue, I'm going to talk about SA RNA oligotherapeutics for cancer treatment. SA RNA is a type of this RNA that triggers target gene expression. The original concept of SA RNA goes back to 2006. When this RNA is designed to target the gene promoter, it induces transcriptional gene activation. Since the fascinating discovery, it quickly emerged as powerful oligotherapeutics in cancer field. Indeed, a lot of genes listed on this slide are developed for cancer therapeutics. Notably, the great achievement of therapeutic SA RNA is that CPA SA RNA, called MTSAPA, is currently under clinical trial for liver cancer. The working mechanism of gene regulation by SA RNA is not fully understood. Based on the recently published research data, it indicates that ARGO2 wrote antisense of SA RNA and transport to the nuclear. The SA RNA loaded ARGO2 bind to promoter and induced open chromatin structure. Following the procedure, it recruits a complex of CTL9 and RHA and initiates trans transcription with the phosphoration of RNA polymerase 2. To increase therapeutic index, targeted delivery is preferred. In recent decades, aptamers have been a popular delivery tool to achieve targeted delivery. As for a representative study, CPA in pancreatic cancer and DPYSL3 in prostate cancer have been well characterized. Also, the results are very promising for candidates of a clinical trial. All I talk is just a brief description about how amazing SA RNAs are for therapeutic molecules. You can find more details in published paper in CPB. I strongly encourage to read. And thank you for listening and have a happy science to all.